In this video, I'm going to be talking about scalp cooling caps and cold caps and what they can do for you in terms of keeping you from losing your hair during chemotherapy. So just to review, chemotherapy uh, affects rapidly dividing cells. So not only cancer cells, but other cells in your body that divide quickly, like the hair on your head. And so chemotherapy is associated with, in many cases, loss of the hair. The way this happens is first with some hair thinning, and then the hair will start to fall out more rapidly. We have other videos on how to manage hair loss and ways of coping with hair loss. But I'm going to talk now about scalp cooling caps and cold caps. Let me first make the distinction. Scalp cooling caps, it's really a system hooked up to a computer that will run cold fluid through a, a device you wear on your head, like a, a tight fitting cap. A cold cap is manual. It just goes on your head and you switch it out as it warms up. The rest of what I say is going to apply to both. Uh, the cost, it can be very expensive from 300 to $500 a month. And so if you think about the number of cycles, the number of treatments that you're getting, the cost can really add up. And although this is now proven to be safe, insurance will often not cover the majority of that cost. So it can be cost prohibitive. You can apply for grants to help offset the cost. What about the other problems? Well, it's quite inconvenient. And some treatment centers, because of the inconvenience, if you bring in your own cooling system um, at, or there's uh, their own equipment that's being used, they can charge you a facility fee. The other thing is you usually need one other person to help. So you would need somebody to come in with you to help with the cooling cap. Now, some places are really accustomed to doing this. It's very smooth. It's a really smooth process for you. So take this as, you know, case by case. Your situation is going to be different from another person that you may have heard go through this. What are the other issues that you might face? Well, it can be quite uncomfortable. So the cold on your scalp can be uncomfortable and a lot of people find that it's not worth it to them to think about having this done. But if your hair is important to you and it is for so many people, ask questions about whether or not this might be a possibility for you despite the cost and inconvenience you should have access to this technology if this is important to you. So how does this actually work? Well, you'll want to have the cold cap or scalp cooling cap on your scalp for 20 to 30 minutes before the chemotherapy starts. That gives it time to work to cool the scalp down and make those blood vessels constrict. And then because your body takes a little while to get rid of the chemotherapy, you'll wear it for up to 40 minutes after chemotherapy. It'll depend on the chemotherapy that you're getting. The other thing to know is that if your hair is very thick, the scalp may actually not get cool enough. So we know, for example, in black women undergoing breast cancer chemotherapy, because of the hair's texture, it can be really hard to get the scalp cool enough we're working on it. We always want to do better to provide equitable care. And as I mentioned, it can be uncomfortable while the scalp is on the skin. Of course, that coolness means that it's actually getting to the scalp. The cold is getting to the scalp. So for some people that can be helpful for them to know it's working. And what does working mean? So in general, we can lose a lot of our hair before other people notice. We can lose about half of our hair before we actually see hair thinning and scalp cooling systems are really effective in doing that for the majority of people undergoing cancer chemotherapy treatment. So it's something to consider, talk about it with your medical team, call your health insurance and see if they can offset some of the cost and ask where you're getting treated, ask them if they might be able to help you find additional assistance because you know this is hard enough to go through and hair loss can be a really difficult side effect of treatment. I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has, click like and subscribe. 
And if you are interested in knowing what treatment options might be available for you, visit yerba.com for your personalized report.